ship out on the ocean Just a speck against the sky A millionaire heart flying out that night With her partner Captain Noonan On the sacred of July A plane fell in the ocean far away Born July 24th, 1897 in Atchison, Canada. When I was 12, I lived with my grandparents for one year. Then my sister and I moved with our parents to Des Moines, Iowa. I first saw a plane at a state fair, but I wasn't very interested. When I went to the state fair, I wasn't very interested until I walked with many pilots who were treated at the soldiers' hospital. Me and my family would go watch air shows at nearby military airfields. During the World War in 1920, I left college to go work at a Canadian military hospital in Toronto, Ontario. I began flying with Netta Schnook on January 3rd, 1921. When I was done taking flying lessons, I would write books about my flying experiences and sell them so people could read them. When I got better at flying, I competed in air shows and I broke the woman's altitude record when I was 14,000 feet in the air. I married George Putnam in 1932 when I was only 32 years old. A year after that, I flew over the Atlantic Ocean solo and I was able to pilot the airplane all by myself. It took me 20 hours and 40 minutes to fly over it. I was the first girl to ever fly over the Atlantic Ocean. Just one more thing, remember girls can do anything that boys can do like flying and a bunch of other things. For in years to come, though others blaze a trail across the sea, we'll never forget Amelia and her